गुड मॉर्निंग डियर स्टूडेंट टूडे वी विल सी द प्रिपरेशन ऑफ ट्रांस यूरेनिक इलेमेंट एंड न्यूक्लियर फ्यूएल सो ऑलरेडी वी हैव स्टार्टेड द चैप्टर नंबर फोर दैट इज द केमिस्ट्री ऑफ यफ ब्लॉक इलेमेंट आउट ऑफ द यफ ब्लॉक इलेमेंट the lanthanides and some introductory part of the actinide that is electronic configuration and oxidation number already uh, we have discussed so today we will see the general methods of preparation of trans uranic element and the fossil fuel so trans uranic element means which element or which element called as a trans uranic element so if we see the f block element in the actinide series in the actinide series uh, all are the radioactive element and only four element that is actinium thorium protactium and uranium these four elements are a naturally occurring element so they are the natural one after the uranium that is neptunium plutonium americium curium berkelium californium einsteinium fermium mendelevium no nobelium and laurentium these are all the artificial or man made so they are the synthetic one so they are lab man made or artificial we call they are the synthetic so these element means after the uranium from neptunium to laurentium these elements are called as a trans uranic element so we can define it as the elements beyond the elements beyond uranium the elements beyond uranium are called are called trans uranic element trans uranic element means from uranium neptunium from neptunium to laurentium are called as a trans uranic element so let us see how they can synthesize in the lab so the general methods of preparation of trans uranic element there are main three methods used to prepare the trans uranic element first is a neutron bombardment method second is bombardment with accelerated particle or high voltage nuclei and third method is heavy ion bombardment so let us see one by one first is a neutron bombardment method now in this neutron bombardment method this process is carried out in the nuclear reactor this process is carried out in nuclear reactor and that nuclear reactor itself serve as a neutron source and we know that neutron possesses no charge and can readily bring about the head on collision with the nuclear atoms and such reactions are called as a neutron reactions neutron captured by the nucleus increases its neutron to proton ratio and nucleus becomes unstable with the simultaneous emission of energy particle gamma and uh, then the neutron is converted into the proton this is followed by the emission of beta particle which gives rise to the element of the higher atomic number now neutron is converted into the proton means that uh, uh, element is converted into the higher atomic number element let us see the example neutron bombardment method example the naturally occurring isotope of uranium uranium 92 atomic mass is 238 when bombarded with the neutron single neutron its neutron to proton ratio is increases this is unstable 92 mass number is increases by 1 and simultaneous emission of the gamma particle this unstable species eliminate the beta particle beta particle means what one equivalent to the one electron means one positive charge is increased here means one positive charge means what one proton is increased here means the nuclei of the higher atomic mass and that is new formed nuclei is a neptunium of the atomic number 93 
and mass remains 239 beta particle means it is equivalent to the one neutron so this is a new element is synthesized by the neutron bombardment method let us see the another example again uranium naturally occurring uranium atomic number 92 and mass 238 when it is bombarded with the n that is one neutron simultaneous emission of the gamma rays so it is converted into the unstable species atomic number will remain same 92 and mass number will increase by one unit this is unstable species unstable species it eliminates the beta particle to form it radiates the beta particle to form the neptunium likewise mass of the neptunium 239 when this neptunium again it is uh, it depends on the uh, life span means the half life of the new species form if that new species is unstable then that new species again eliminate the particle and convert it into the another species so neptunium eliminate the beta particle and get converted into the next element that is a plutonium of the atomic number 94 and mass 239 239 if we radiate this plutonium again by the uh, neutron and emission of the gamma rays then the mass number is increased by 1 that is 240 atomic number remains same that is a plutonium again that plutonium if we radiate with the new more new neutron then mass number is increased from 140 to 141 if we radiate again that plutonium by neutron then mass number increased by 1 again so 242 will be the mass of the plutonium 94 will be the atomic number now this 94 that is plutonium 242 plutonium 242 is a unstable species is unstable species it radiates or il eliminates the beta particle and it converted into the new element having the higher atomic number that is atomic number will increased by 1 that is 95 and it is a 95 and it is a americium so am the atomic number and mass 240 here is a 2 2 neutron so 230 sorry 243 so 243 will be the mass so likewise we can synthesize the another element from neptunium to laurentium by the same neutron bombardment method and it is very convenient method as compared to the other method see the second method used to synthesize the um, uh, transuranic element that is a bombardment with the accelerated particle or high voltage nuclei so the accelerated particle used here that is alpha particle we know that alpha particle means the helium nuclear mass number is increased by mass number will increase by 4 and atomic number by 2 so alpha is equivalent to the helium and proton proton means the hydrogen means mass number will increased by 1 and atomic number will also increase by 1 then deuterium deuterium is equivalent to the uh, it is a isotope of a proton that is isotope of hydrogen means uh, mass number will increase by 2 and atomic number by 1 so these particles are bombarded on the naturally occurring isotope of uranium and uh, simultaneously the uh, reduces the mass means n here the number of uh, type of reactions are given n alpha means the alpha means the addition and the n means the elimination n means what the mass number if one n is given then one Uh, mass number is reduces by 2 let us uh, we will see the reactions later on and in this process of synthesis the nucleus capture the nuclei of this light element means light element means what this uh, helium proton and deuterium and the produces a new higher element 
the important projectile particles and their reactions are given. So, these are the reactions. For example, first reaction is the alpha and N reaction where this alpha get added while N gets eliminated. Alpha get added and 2 N gets eliminated in the second reaction and in third reaction, deuterium will add. Deuterium means what? The mass number will increase by 2 and atomic number by 1 where the N is a minus. Let us see the example. First reaction, uranium naturally occurring uranium again. The atomic number is a 92 and the mass is a 238. If we bombard it with the one alpha particle, simultaneously the one neutron will be lost. And the new species form, that is new nuclei form, whose atomic number is increased by 2 because atomic number of alpha that is the helium is added here 2 and mass number of alpha get added means plus 4 minus 1 neutron get eliminated means the mass number will increase totally by 3. So, mass number will be 241 here and new species that is 94 and it is a plutonium it is a plutonium form. The second type of the reaction here alpha and 2n. Just see the example. Alpha and 2n. So, uranium of isotope 239, 239 atomic number 92. If bombarded with the 1 alpha and uh, 2 neutron will lost. Then the new species form. The new space is formed here. The mass number will increase total by 2. How? The mass number increased because of 1 alpha is by 4 and minus 2 by neutron. And here the atomic number will increase by 2. So, the new species will form having the atomic number 90. Will form the atomic number 94 and mass number 2 third uh, sorry 241 that is again a plutonium. So likewise and third let us see the third example deuterium and uh, neutron will eliminate. So deuterium let us see one example uranium again naturally occurring uranium U atomic number 92, mass number, let us see the another isotope 235. The reaction indicates D and means one deuterium is get added. One deuterium means what? Atomic number will increase by one. Because see here deuterium is the isotope of hydrogen, atomic mass will increase by 2 and atomic number by 1. So, atomic number will increase by 1 and atomic mass will increase by 2 because of deuterium but simultaneously the 1 mass number will reduce by 1. So, we can write here the new species form that is a 93 and 93 is a neptunium NP mass number is 236. So, Simultaneously, we can write the elimination of one particle. Here is also we can write the two uh, mass and here is also we can write the M10 likewise. So, the mass number will decreases by one here because one neutron is eliminated. So, uh, last, uh, sorry, fourth number reaction were the one deuterium and two N. So, let us write the reaction example. Again, we can take the any other example, but uranium is a common naturally occurring. That's why 92 is atomic number and 238 is the mass number. If we radiate it with the deuterium and 2n, here the mass number will increase totally by or even on 2 on sorry, no change in the mass number result and mass number. Let's see. The deuterium contribute the increase of mass number by 2, but Again, the neutron, two neutron we have to eliminate and the atomic number will increase by 1. So, the new species form that is a neptunium again, 
and having the isotope that is 238 is the isotope of Neptune. So likewise we can synthesize the other elements, other transuranic elements by the bombardment with the accelerated particle or high voltage nuclei we call them. So likewise the third method is the heavy ion bombardment method. This is a modern technique of synthesis of the transuranic element and it involves the capture of nuclei of heavy ions and most commonly used heavy ions are obtained from the atoms that is beryllium, carbon and oxygen. The beryllium means the beryllium atomic number is a 4 and uh, mass is a 9 then carbon 12 and oxygen 16. These are the heavy ions or particle used to synthesis the heavy ion and that heavy ions bombard on the naturally occurring um, isotope of uranium and we will synthesis the new species. Let us see the example of these uh, heavy ion bombardment sources. The reactions are given. First reaction is bombardment of the carbon and four neutron will eliminate simultaneously. Let us see the example uranium of naturally occurring uranium atomic number 92, 238 isotope. If it is bombarded with the carbon, so atomic number will increase by 6 and mass number will increase by 12. The new species form the new species atomic number by 6 means 98. 98 will be the atomic number and element having the 98 atomic number is a californium and atomic mass C. Here 4 neutron. So C and 4 neutron we have to minus means atomic number will increase by 12 and because of the carbon and minus 4 means because of the elimination of the neutron. So 4 neutron will eliminate simultaneously. So resultant atomic number sorry atomic mass will increase by 8. So it is 246. 246 is the atomic mass. Let us see another example second example where the reaction in which the boron atomic number 5 of its isotope 10 and uh, 5 neutron will get eliminated simultaneously. So let us see the example, write the reaction. Now here californium, californium 98 is the atomic number of californium of isotope 252 is taken here. Here the bombardment of the boron nuclei and the uh, elimination of the phi neutron will take place. So the boron phi chain we can write it and the arrow, arrow phi n likewise. So the mass number will increase by 10 and again uh, it will uh, reduces by phi likewise. The mass number will get added here means plus by 10 and minus by a phi neutron it will decrease by phi and atomic number will increase by phi. So the new species form were atomic number 103 that is a Laurentium and the atomic mass is 257 plus the phi neutron will be lost. Likewise, we can synthesize the element by heavy ion bombardment. We can write the reaction for oxygen also. So these are the three main methods used to synthesize the transuranic element. First is the neutron bombardment. Second is the bombardment with the accelerated particle. Accelerated particles are used as a helium, proton and deuterium and third is the this one heavy ion bombardment method. So important topic is this. Next is the nuclear fuel and their application. 
nuclear fuel means what the nuclear fuel is the element which produces heat energy by its nuclear fusion or a fission so let's write the reaction sorry uh, first definition nuclear fuel means what nuclear fuel nuclear fuel means it is a element the element which produces or which produce which produces heat energy by its nuclear fusion by its nuclear fusion or nuclear fission reaction nuclear fusion or nuclear fission reaction already uh, we may ha uh, have heard the word fission and fusion reaction so let us see one by one and according to that reaction the fuel that is nuclear fuel is uh, distinguished into the two uh, main types nuclear fusion fuel and nuclear fission fuel so the nuclear uh, fusion fuel see first nuclear fusion fuel the fusion fusion means what the two light nuclei two small nuclei come together they fuse we call it as a fuse and gives the larger nuclei along with the emission of the energy so this reaction is called as a nuclear fusion reaction and uh, these nuclei or those elements get fused to give the bigger element uh, bigger element or the bigger uh, mass having the bigger element simultaneous emission of the energy such a fuel are called as a nuclear fusion fuel second type is the nuclear fission fuel the fission means what opposite to the fusion means a large or heavy heavy uh, nuclei converted into the smaller nuclei of the equivalent mass and el elimination of the emission of the energy so such a reaction is called as a fusion reaction and those heavy nuclei used the nuclear fusion reaction are called as the nuclear fusion fuel so let us see the example nuclear fusion fuel the hydrogen four moles of hydrogen when fused to give the helium nuclei four plus two moles of a positron we call as a positive particle as a positron plus let me take it down plus energy so this is a reaction of nuclear fusion fuel and the second is that is nuclear fusion fuel example the larger or heavy nuclei that is uranium 92 of isotope 235 when bombarded with the neutron it converted into the two smaller nuclei that is a uh, barium and uh, krypton of atomic number 36 barium having the atom atomic number 56 of mass 139 and krypton carries the mass 94 along with the some neutron particle that is three neutron plus energy and this is a tremendous amount of energy is eliminated here almost uh, 200 mega volt energy is here electro volt so this is the nuclear fusion and nuclear fusion fuel so this is a these are the examples of the nuclear fusion and nuclear fusion cells the uh, nuclear fusion fuel this first one that is a smaller nuclear when combined to give the larger along with the energy uh, emission of energy this is a more superior um, more superior reaction or more superior hence the nuclear 
fusion fuel is a more applica uh, having the more applications than the nuclear fusion fuel because uh, to control the reaction the heavy uh, when heavy elements converted into the lighter the tremendous amount of energy is uh, il, uh, emitted here that control of reaction is very difficult than the nuclear fusion fuel so nuclear fusion fuel is uh, more superior than the nuclear fusion fuel so today we have seen the synthesis of transuranic element and the nuclear fuels and in this way this chapter is finished over here tomorrow we will see the uh, next chapter that is metal semiconductor and superconductor thank you if you like my video please share subscribe and uh, press the like button thank you